undefeated. Yo, what's going on, people? Undefeated. Welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. The only podcast with two undefeated fighters. Chatting it up. Bro, Come what's on. your tale of the tape, fam? I thought you were going to tell people to like and subscribe and all that stuff. That's what you usually do, bro. I hear that. You know what, guys? Come like, on. subscribe, That's what they should share, do. send a link to your grandma, do that. auntie, cousin, and also your brethren, Michael, because everyone's got a brethren called Michael. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad. Wait, is everyone, wait, just in the room right now, is everyone got a cousin called Michael? A friend called like, Michael. A brethren called Michael. Yeah. Cousin, brethren. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Michael. There you go. Everyone knows a Michael? Yeah, bro. There you go. Cool. Send it to him. Send, send it, it to him, Send bro. it to your Michael, fam. There you go. Um, what, what else do you want us to do, Wale? Yeah, comment in the chat as well if you like just got a Michael in your life. That's mad important <laughs> to you. Here you go. Um, big man. What's your tail of the tape, bro? <laughs> you know I do, fam. Mm. I'm O and O, fam. Jeez. Listen, <laughs> never fought, never lost. But if I did, someone gets knocked out. And it ain't me. I respect it, bro. But bro, on a roll, mm. I just want to know, fam, because I ain't asked you in a long time. It's been a whole seven days. What's your tail of the tape, fam? <laughs> Undefeated, mm. two and zero. Oh. That's what you did. I boast a fantastic knockout record of fifty percent. You did that, fam. That means half the men that entered the ring with me <laughs> left on their back. The only way they can leave, fam. Trust me. Oh man, see, this, this is what the problem. I've got an issue because I'm saying man left like a vander, fam, and I, I hate that. That's in my head. That? Why did that's you say in that? my head. I can't unsee it, bro. I can't unsee it. But what I want to do quickly, though, because we're not respecting. The audio listeners. We're not respecting the people that it's true. we used to talk to them all the time. It's true. You say you are. Beep your horn for, for mm-hmm. no reason. Mm-hmm. We used to tell the man to indicate and go another way. Like indicate left, but still turn right. Pull up at the services. Yeah. And just buy the most expensive fuel. <laughs> just put 20 pounds in that premium unleaded. Have, hey, have you ever bought the premium? Or the strong diesel, huh? Have you ever bought a premium? Real talk, let's I, be honest. No, yeah, I have. I have. Because, Swear. So basically, there was a time when um, my old BMW wasn't getting like great miles per, to, yeah. the, to the gallon. So I was like, I was seeing that sometimes it's good to put the premium stuff in yeah. just for a good few cycles and then yeah. blah, 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 chatting crap didn't change nothing. Just was just bad. It matter. just does yeah. the same. It's just Bro, the same. when I talk to them, man, that I saw, I see man that put in premium in the, in the Nissan fam. I'm like, Ron, does it need it? <laughs> no. Does it need it? It does. It does. Hey, listen, nah. this guy, uh, li- uh, wait, this guy, dri- this guy, don't listen. <laughs> this guy, yeah, Fingers. drove a Rover with driving gloves. Oh, of yeah, course. the yeah, Rover, t- the Rover 500, yeah, I think yeah, it was the 600, yeah. 500. That's crazy. One of them Rovers, bruv, yeah, with driving, the Lewis Hamilton's. The, yeah, with a little gap. In with the, the gap, yeah, Sam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I can't believe it. So when he says that, I might have to take him serious. I hear, You probably have to do it for a sustained amount of time, though. I was looking for a quick fix. I was just like, bruv, this ain't changed nothing. I was just, <laughs> I weren't having it. I don't think it does anything. I think it's just name. Hey, you look. Make enough. sure that you listen to Wally's pod. It's coming see this all about cars. Yeah, for real. You know, I'm what? telling you. Just I'll, quick plug. I'll take it. I'll take yeah? it. Yeah, we just believe him. Um, okay, let's um, let's get into it. We should right. do the comments. So if, I think we should do it. Let's do it, man. We haven't respected the comments, and people been showing us mad love. Cool. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm gonna do it this week. Um, I just feel so shaken up by like how this 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 weekend has gone. This weekend of boxing, uh, we're all shaken up, bro. But again, this is the podcast. The mm. people know us. They'll wait. Do you know what I mean? But um, can I talk like while while you're looking for comments? Yeah, I will say that I've never seen a, like this week was like the twilight zone for me. Yeah, I got the comments up now. There you go. Um, yeah, the streets are saying that they could smell the fear coming from KG at certain times throughout the interview. Why did I ask you to read the comments? This is a mad. This is a mad week. This, for me this was a crazy week for you. Still, um, it's when people, say, it's when people are busting up at that question. It's like, all right, how far back does the relationship go with Daniel White? <laughs> it's a mad question. It's when, he just when you watch it back, it's so his face is so funny. <laughs> oh my days! Um, Shouts out to Nimble eighty two. He said I was trying to hold out to watch this and to, like to watch this after work, but I'm currently sitting in my work van, locked in. Good content, fellas. There hey. you go. I got Docast twenty two says smart athletic. Smart athletic. <laughs> she had me flipping in tears. <laughs> <laughs> the world's gonna catch you, man, and it's on site. We need to send him a, like a care package. Uh, yeah. Just We're gonna, clothes. What, what do we put in there? Clothes. What clothes? <laughs> Other clothes. <laughs> no, nothing to do with undefeated. No leather jackets. <laughs> Mad colours. In like leggings and leggings, but they'll match matching leggings. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, Send that for real. That's what you're, that's what you're into. We got you, bro. 
Um, Jonathan no Greer says, neither of you are brave enough to tell him to speak into the mic. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> We saw it as well. They, they, there was even the one time when I said I had to break, I had to break the like the full full. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and I said he said me, yo. <laughs> even that, yeah, was tense. But I could see it all over him, fam. Now I wasn't comfortable with what was going on, fam. Mm. But I thought, you know what? Yeah, the moment is Something's now. Gonna be done. I gotta fix that. Um, I was watching his leg do that, and I was like, man, like, yeah, he's got this leg, this leg thing, the leg bouncing thing that he kept on doing. Bro, I was like, I don't know what that means. Just bounce, fam. But I'm not interested in the outcome. <laughs> So Joshua Isaac says, no, nah, I'm not going to lie. These men have the best boxing pod straight. Love you, man. Wow. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate that, bro. Wait, on, can I say this as well? Go for it. Our subscribers, it's growing. Oh, yeah. Like, you lot, we appreciate, again, for the YouTube people. Crazy. You lot have been here, like, this journey has been so real. Bro, remember that, like, we have weeks where it was, like, 200, and that was the maximum for the... We, everyone in this room remembers oh, those 200. Fam. That was it. We got the 200 views, and we're like, bro, it's actually, no bad week, you know? It's actually crazy. <laughs> What about for the 200 for the month? Yeah, 200 <laughs> for the month. I'll be looking at those views like, yo, yo. <laughs> we're doing We're back we're on doing. top. <laughs> We are moving, oh but now three, um, three point, um, three point eighteen k um, subscribers. It, yeah, it's it's amazing. It's, like, I, like we already know. Like, you, I wish we could bring our YouTube, our uh, Instagram, and our comedy following straight into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be great. Yeah. But I don't work like that. It don't work. Do out. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm so, I'm so grateful I'm for all the people that literally turn up and Monday Night Smoke. If you're watching this and you haven't seen Monday Night Smoke, go back and watch it right now. Yeah. One of the best episodes because not us, you know, the, the great defeaters were on fire every smoke. single one. Smoke. Smoke, smoke. Yeah, it was right. special, man. Uh, David Hemming says, I love the fresh approach you guys bring to boxing content on YouTube. Thank you. Hope you guys get more work on zone or any other platforms creating boxing content. These platforms need to recognize real lions when they see one. Woo! Hang tight, Chisora. Chisora pushed someone into the water the other day. Yeah, see, that's, that made me really <laughs> uncomfortable seeing that, you know. Because I was like, we were on the top of the bus for a minute. Bro, that was his friend. All you have to understand is if you treat your friend like that, his friend was fully, fully clothed. Oh. And that, that water looked like it needed to be changed. Yeah, you it know was that dirty chlorine. Dirty chlorine, fam. I don't know what colour that was, but it looked dyed. Yeah, outfit. It's a liberty, fam. No, but having wet jeans, your phone, your wallet, <laughs> there's uh, so many things that went bad so there. Many, your bro. shoes, your shoes are going to be making that, <laughs> but that wait, squeaky wait, wait, sound wait, wait. when he takes his steps from now on. You get out. Usually, you want to smoke, man. But it's Derek. You got to find a way to negotiate that feeling. Oh, you're dumb, fam. No, you oh. got to get out wet and look. Oh, man, you're dumb. Fam. No, it's when you get up and you just go, oh, why'd you always do this, man? No, you're oh, this one as well. Oh, you're such a dickhead. <laughs> you're squeezing your shit out. No, nah, no, nah. Derek, man. It's the childish, the childish sulk that you gotta get off, just so he knows it's non-threatening. Because obviously, he might just be like, "Oh, hold on, who are you talking to?" And now you gotta just be like, "Oh no, obviously I'm." Not. <laughs> the pool guy, cause you should have cleaned this pool a long time ago, That's fam. What I'm saying I wouldn't be so angry if it weren't dirty, bro. <laughs> anyway, man, right, you know what? Let's go. get into the pod, let's bro. Go. I'm just trying to kill Evan time to not Evander, get into what we're Evan, gonna talk about. Evander's fallen, fam. He done the Patrick. He right. done Patrick from EastEnders. I keep telling people, bro, play that Patrick moment back in your head. I know what you're saying. I know yeah? What you're saying. How long did it take Evander to go full back? Listen. I heard, uh, go on, tell me something you heard, because I heard a different one. I'll just, tell you what I heard. I'm not going to participate in the jokes on Evander. It's not a name. joke, bro. I love him, bro. No, no. Bro, I He's heard... A legend. I heard... Legend. Whoa. <laughs> what are you saying? The Luffy Vandross? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not participating in the jokes. Evander Holyfield is a whole legend in boxing. Yeah? Do you see Lennox Lewis's tweet? Lennox Lewis tweeted, who cloned Evander? Oh. He said, I don't know that man. He said, I do not know that man that was in there. Pugilist. So Pugilist left the chat. Oh. Pugilist said, that's not my friend. That's he not said, that's not my, my friend. guy. He said, I didn't fight that guy. No, he said, that's not my guy. You know what's mad here is... Cause Lennox, Lennox is petty. We all say Lennox is petty. He wore a suit with the with the fight. All the names that, of the all guys the names that you mash up, yeah? yeah. That's that's mad still. So obviously you know he's in a group chat with them, man. They're in a group chat. Lennox would remove him from the group for what happened. Just quickly. It'll be a light removal. Just to speak freely. <laughs> <laughs> and you know he's typing in Pato as well. Hey, let this ballad bust you up, there, man. <laughs> 
know, it's... Travis, we have to be consistent because everyone gets these jokes. This is my guy. I, I, felt, you... I just felt sad because he's old. Yeah, it That's felt what it like was. my uncle. It, it was like watching someone's granddad and it's just like, oh, why is your granddad here, brother? And <laughs> he's getting in the ring. Oh, come on, man. How are you going to have that? No. Nah. Oh, he just wants to. I can't stop him. We tried to stop him. The family needed. Like, <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's... It's... <laughs> It's, you know that family meeting. Everyone, it happens everywhere. They yeah? had to sit down with Amanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, oh, look, Dad, man, like you really can't be out here fighting. He's like, look, everybody know that, you know, with God, and I won't be all right. It's like, bro. Yeah, because the kids know. It's not going to be on. all right. He told his daughters, he told his daughters that he's going to be okay. That's what I'm saying. So there was a family meeting. But the thing is, it's like when you hear him talk, it's like the, it's not even coherent. It's like, ah, oh, bro, this is so... Everything is wrong with this picture. But I swear Evan's fighting. Like, is he not believing in Evan to just say, I'm going to wait for Evan to just have the nights that I used to have? Oh, Can he just son. live through his son? Yeah, nah, like, that's not, what every parent does, fam. He's not living through. Live through your child, bro. He said, bro. I'm doing training camp too. <laughs> He said, listen, where's you, you saying? You're hot, yeah, I'm the first Holyfield, so we can both find that you be on my no, undercard. No, but we, Dad, come on. We, do you know what do you know happened? The same way we warned Nigel Ben. I feel like because The of, same way we warned, we warned Nigel. We no, didn't get to warn Holyfield. We didn't warn Holyfield. But Holyfield is the type that's not listening to you. No, but we should have come with a he, spiritual warning. You, you could tell him straight up, listen, it's going to go bad. He's in good shape. He's 44. He's still fresh. Look, everybody know that, you know, with God. And, nah, and that's it's why. It's just going to be the same answer. Speak to a man in a language that he understands. So what we should have done, we should have sent him a like a like a burning bush presentation, fam, and just started talking like, good, fam. Don't do it. It's not time. Evander. Evander. You got to get the Morgan Freeman voice. Speak to him in you gotta to talk to fighters in the language they understand, fam. If it came from a, a spiritual realm, oh he ain't fighting, fam. We gosh. failed. I blame us. We, we failed Evander. We failed Evander. We saved Nigel. We saved Nigel, fam. Nigel didn't go out there again. He didn't go out there to fight again. He's cool. He's he chilling. Knew. We Evander, we're sorry, man. We apologize. I didn't everyone know everyone from team undefeated, because it's the whole team. Yeah, we're that sorry, let man. You down. I didn't know. We I, apologize. Because when 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 they was like he's stepping in at seven days notice, I thought, sure, surely that's <laughs> surely everyone around you should think that's that's it's not a the best. Of G. We that's, failed, yeah, it's, we failed, and we take we have to take this on the chin. And this is and this now, at, while we're here, yeah, because man, them need to be warned, yeah, in the world. Just so we're gonna not because we're not we're not. I'm not here to laugh at Evander Holyfield because he's my guy. I'm not having yeah? that either. But. Man them need to be warned because man them are moving crazy in boxing. Yeah? Yeah. I heard your mm. guy. My yeah, guy? Which, who? Say, who are you talking about? Come on, bro. They broken. Hay. Yeah, broken. Ain't no stopping us yeah. now. He's back, by the way. No, come Tremendous Travis, performance. You're boxing, helping. Boxing clinic. For fuck's sake. Let's talk, bro. I mean, you've never seen Hay David Hay fight without relying on the haymaker. He said, yo, I'm going to pump that jab, get to work, be slick. He's not going to put pressure on me. He's not going to land anything crazy on me. Like, he just... You know what I mean? Got to work. It was very Mayweather-ish. Do you know what I'm saying? We've not seen, you know, I've seen the evolution of David Hay on Saturday. You know, that work of Ishmael Salas, you know, from the two belly camps has obviously shown, you know, it's 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 raring his head. I want to um, know. Wait, I've got some real <laughs> questions. And I, I help me answer raring his head. That's how he gives it up as well. That's a full David Hay. That's the David Hay. Um, I want to ask you this I'm question. things I've never seen before. No, I'm joking. Why is David Hay's shorts <laughs> so big? Like the way there's bit. a whole back brace in what? there. <laughs> <laughs> I always look at it and I'm like, that Listen. waist can't be sanctioned. Like, no. who's covering? <laughs> Do you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. You know when you... <laughs> Because it's massive, Listen, bro. It's like about, your Kozuna, fam. I'm about to get the jokes off for David Hay. It is what it is, bro. That's my, that's my fight. But you know when you see little kids and they get that chair when they're like two, three years old? It's yeah. Like sitting there and it's like wheels. But in that chair, it's like a little harness where it's like... Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the crawler. <laughs> the seat. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's... Just... That kid one when they're just running about and that and it's got bare wheels on the bottom. So they can't fall over, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's basically what's in, the, in them shorts, fam. <laughs> because... They're not just, it's not just material. It's uh, too much. It's a whole f harness. It's a, It's too much. If he went into the sky like Michael Jackson at his concerts, you know? <laughs> his balls would be I fine. Would, <laughs> Nothing about the pressure would get to it. I just but, don't like that. But you got to look at what his shorts were looking like for the belly rematch. That's the biggest hay short I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. He could have easily, if they put him back upside down, he could have, like that would have been an absolute, like, um, 
parachute. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Calm no, me. when you can fit certain featherweights, featherweights into the shorts, like a lot of them. We say what? <laughs> a lot of them. We say any flyweights could fit. In Bro, <laughs> mad Sunny Edwards in the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> like Charles Sunny's, Charles Sunny Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't fit. Oh my god. I'm telling you, it mad the shorts are too big. <laughs> the shorts are too big. They were there's like a whole front bit which was <laughs> Look at this <laughs> Look <laughs> Look man <laughs> The shorts are too big I hate the fact that we're doing this. This makes me sick. No, but for me, yeah, it just throws me off. It just... <laughs> Listen, David. By the Hayes. way, we're looking at footage of the shoes. <laughs> Listen, Dave, David Hayes, a two-way world champion, cruiserweight, heavyweight champion. It doesn't matter. Shoes <laughs> nah, they weren't always that big. They're just that big because of the grown. the injuries and the madness that he's had to go through. They've grown with the legacy, bro. <laughs> They're just bigger. <laughs> I'm not joking. There's actually back support in those shorts. They cut me. He had crazy back surgery that he never told anybody about, which is why he retired after the Fury fight. He, after that surgery, he came out like an inch or two taller because of what they did on his spine. Hey, Very listen, mad. We, so that's back support in them shorts. Just so you know, and all these boxers just need to understand, we're both comedians and that will always be the... The vibe. We will get the jokes off early, yeah, not but <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking, bro. When David Hay walked to the ring for that second fight, I knew from the jump this was going bad. So he's wearing a back brace, bro. And he, wait, 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 hold on. And he wants to fight Fury. That's why we need. Well, we need to yeah, do because an we're, we're not addressing the fact that. He's back. He's revamped his style. It's not relying on the Haymaker anymore. He said he didn't even want to show Fury the Haymaker because he didn't want Fury to know how much he had left. I said, right, that's genius. The we same Haymaker that he's thrown for his whole career. <laughs> he decided he don't need to see that again. No, Travis, let's have a real conversation. Right, we need to have it. a real conversation. Let's, do it. let's get yeah? that. Cool, let's because go. is it, I know, and we're joking, but there's, there's a sad there's, undertone on all of this. There's not a sad undertone on it. Travis, Hay versus Fury. Don't play with that as a thing to not happen. To, it could a thing to happen. happen. It's a thing that I was listening to Frank Warren, yeah, the other day. Just and I'm gonna sp I'm gonna destroy the world for a few boxing fans right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You ready for this? Yeah. Um. A um. AJ, he's having his last fight. Yeah. On Sky. On Sky. Yeah. Last potential. Yeah. The deal that was signed and agreed was with Sky and BT. They found, they understood something and it worked. Now, if he signs to the zone, yeah, which the zone's in the UK, you can't tell me this is a fight. If I'm now, and the, the zone have upped the prices, yeah? We now pay $7.99 mm -hmm. a month, yeah? Yeah. So with my $7.99 a month, don't tell me I'm not getting AJ fight for $7.99 a month. Don't tell me that. I'm not hearing that. Don't try to argue to me. Don't tell me I got to go through BT, fire their box office. No one ain't going through BT. No, but this is BT still no. have a... What will, still have is, a what will happen is you can get it on BT as well. That's how they do the joint ventures. So when Tyson and Lewis fought, it was a HBO and Showtime, I think it was, arrangement. And yes. You could pay either one. No, but okay. So just imagine, yeah, there's just... Yeah, here you go. It's the same drink. I'm, I've got two. I've got two Red Bulls in my hand. Yeah, same drink. Same drink. Yeah, I can watch it for thirty pounds over here, or I can have the app and watch it for seven ninety nine. Where am I going, Trav? There's only one way to go. So you can't tell me if, if I'm at BT and say, yeah, mate, it's still a good deal. No one's coming to pay thirty pound. So they already know this is a bad business idea. So you can't sell me this because you're selling it for seven ninety nine. I'm saying, saying that how about usually when those split deals happen, like let's say AJ's fighting again, it's available on the zone, but we we can't watch it as the zone users in the UK. You see what I'm saying? They can't do that deal now because well, AJ Usyk. AJ Usyk. That's on Sky Sports. It, yes. Yeah. But it's available on the zone. For the other territories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America, da 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't pull that move off with... If AJ, if AJ signs to the zone after this Usyk fight, that fight has to be available for me as a British the zone user 
It has to be available. No, but this is the end. No, the reason why the fight is on Sky Sports is that's the end of his contract. I'm talking about Fury. I'm talking about H. Because that, that, remember, Wendell was going to fight before. Yeah, but it's going to be a cross promotion deal. So something has to happen for this to work. And it's going to be out of the ordinary for whatever it's going to be to work. So but something how? unusual has to happen. And that's what Frank Warren said. This is what I'm. Mean, you got to listen to what these guys are saying. Frank Warren is saying that this deal becomes a lot more difficult if he does end up with the zone. This deal's difficult anyway, bruv. These men are liars, so these men don't want to fight. I'm, so I'm with you. So yeah. now just imagine you say that deal is very difficult and it's like we, we've we gone through the most to get the thing here. Is for me, the thing is for me is that I'm not interested in anybody's arrangement making the fight easier. I'm just looking at it like, bruv, if you actually want this fight, you'll make this fight happen. I know, but so, I could, so just imagine me. I could want it. You could want it. But I'm we're a part of massive entities. Listen, these logistics are not as big a deal as they make it. They make them bigger for when it suits their needs. So don't, you don't think... Listen, I'm so, telling you now, if AJ says, yo, I don't care what it needs to happen, do it. Yes. This fight gets made. I'm with... So I'm... I'm. Trust me, when, he, when I, I understand that... And if Fury that, does the same, because Fury has to do the same. I understand that. But just imagine, yeah... Yo, Mister, I've signed. I've signed AJ. How? What's AJ's deal to show? Was it Showtime or whatever it is? It's over a hundred M's or something like that. Yeah? Remember, yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot of money. If I give you over a hundred M's, yeah, I'm looking to recoup heavily. Mm. Like I'm not doing. I'm not yeah, giving you, know you money AJ, for no reason. You know, with AJ, you recoup. Fury's no with AJ. There you go. But I'm not. I'm talking. My deal is with um with Fury, right? Mm. So if Fury's fighting, I'm trying to see my back end. I'm trying to see the money come back to me. Now, if I've got a deal with a, another entity that have their own ideas and their own play, they're not doing it because it's easier when they're both doing box office style. Box office easy will do splits. Da, 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 da. Mm. We're a subscription based and one is box office. These are, it's yeah, not, me, it's not meshing. Is, yeah, that's what I was saying. What will happen is there will be a pay-per-view charge. In my in my estimation, there'll be a pay-per-view charge on outside the of the subscription thing for that type of arrangement to make sense. But then it again then it rips up doesn't what they no, said it, it was rip, for us. It doesn't rip up anything. It just changes the arrangement for that for that particular fight. If no, we want wait, it when was introduced to the zone? The, 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 I hear what you're saying, but things change because I'm of agreeing. these arrangements. No, wait, I'm a, no, so I'm not fighting you, by the way. Yeah, no, I'm no, saying not, that how but, but what you're saying is it can't change because of what you said in the beginning, but I'm like, this is an, uh, a unicorn of an arrangement. They're never going to do this long term. I was, and I, do you know, I'm, so I'm with you on that, yeah, but I was so, when I'm sold the zone, because I'm a the zone user, yeah, I'm sold the zone and the, 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 the USP of the zone is all the fights for, at first it's two pound, now it's seven ninety nine. All it, the fights, introductory price. Yeah, introductory yeah, price. I'm not. I'm not cussing. Stay. By the way, I'm just saying. I'm no just talking the rotting. No one should have expected it to stay. I knew it was gonna go up. Yeah, but yeah, it says I get all the fights for seven ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, and that's why it's better than them. What them men are doing over there because that. we get everything for seven ninety nine. Yeah, if now I'm paying my seven ninety nine and they say, well, that still don't give you the big fight. I've got a problem as a user. Well, well, we're gonna have to just see how it goes, bro. Like it's it's one of the things where that it, that fight is going to be a unicorn arrangement wherever it is. Either Sky versus BT, it's gonna have to be a unicorn. And thing have you ever, Bob Arum and Frank Warren are slippery. And the reason why I say it's not happening, have you ever seen a unicorn? <laughs> yeah, Tyson Lewis. It's happened before and it can happen again. But all and I'm saying when, is, look, wait, we're wait, in a different era. Look when that happened. Yeah, it's been a different era. Not so in a time. Will, so we got to wait 100 we're in a years different for that. Era, so it will look different, but it won't be a standard bearing thing. It's just going to have to be a one off arrangement. And as a fan of boxing, I don't care what the arrangement is. Even I, if I've I'll got to run 15 meters in my dining room to activate the subscription, let me do that so the fight can happen. So, this is, so anyway, so to, to draw it back to the main thing that I was saying is, because they had to go through all those hoops and stuff, and it's t they don't really like each other. That's real. We might not go that way, is what I'm trying to say. And when a hey comes out of nowhere, no one, it wasn't prompted. A, the wild, man a wild hey appeared. No one said to him, no one said, <laughs> what about Fury? Nobody. Literally, everyone was at home like, what? <laughs> Even the interview, I think even if, if, if the interview weren't professional, you'd be like, really? <laughs> like, I so didn't weird. even... 
I've even seen an interview where Hay is talking. I think it might have been with Michelle J. Phelps, and he was like, "No, I'm not going to disrespect those guys by calling anybody of them like any one of them out." Wilder and your AJs and Fury, and I, I got to go back to that interview now and see if he actually said Fury because they definitely said AJs and the Wilders of the world. But I'm like, bro, hold on, was you giving it up for them, man? But you're looking at Fury like, no, nah, I could still take you though. Like I, I don't understand. But it caught me so off guard to see Hay do that. But it's scary. But what I thought you was getting to earlier is there is a sad undertone in all of this because. Every time I see a fighter fight past their sell by date, I'm almost looked at. I look at them the same way I look at musicians when I see like boys to men are still doing concerts and then people I go know, there. Boys to men, no, no, man. but people still go and then they just complain. It's like, bro, it's rubbish. And I said, the only thing that keeps these men going past that is debt. Debt and bad finances. Right? Now, I don't know. I don't know that, that someone like David Hay is broke to the point where people say, right, he's broke. He's got, oh, he don't even buy shopping. Like, I don't think that level of broke. If, if David Hay's got money issues, it's not common man money issues. Yeah. It's when rich men say they're bankrupt and I just want more peas. Yeah. Like, but I look at an Evander. I look at some of these guys who are piling out the woodwork to go, yeah, I'll fight. I'll fight. And I'm like, there's something sad going on here because you don't see football players coming out of retirement to be on some, yeah, let's go, let's go. It's no, them they are, can't. There's they're not, nice. There's not a market for them to come yeah, out. Yeah, but they're like also that. nice with peas. Like, it's not a it's not a matter of regular occurrence to see footballers just broke out here like that. I Wait, because I want to push are, back. Yeah. I want to push back on it. I think there's a thing that happens. We have to talk to the ego of the man because ego is a great thing at play in all of this, Yeah. Evander Holyfield, and you said it on um, on Monday Night Smoke, you talked about your memories of being that guy. Your memories, yeah? your memories don't age. I, if I remember what I, what I was used to, I used to go into a room and everyone loves me, everyone cares about me. And yeah? what I think. Every, well, kind of, that's why I feel like I'm I'm in a stadium and they're shouting, they're screaming my name. And at some point, yeah. that stops. Yeah. Yeah. People can't deal with that. I might be financially okay. And then I watch the game now and I see people not as dedicated to it as I was. And I say to myself, well, you don't deserve that. I remember when I need that again. Do you know what I mean? And I think a lot of men are coming back to just get the crowd. They're, they're just people like we talk about the likes. Look what likes does, does for us. We'll post a picture that we like. Do you know what I mean? We'll go and check to see how it's doing. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's just, a, it's a part of it. But so these boxers that have once, once it's been critically acclaimed as the, and you hear footballers, everyone that's left the game, when the curtains close, they talk about the depression, no one caring again. And I think a lot of fighters Go for return that. for that. I definitely believe that as well. I think, you know, I, I can't remember who said it. It might have been Tony Belly. And he's basically saying the hardest thing about retiring was staying retired. That's the biggest fight. But... I can't ignore the fact that money issues are a real thing as well. Yeah. Especially when they're documented like how it is with Evander. He's lost a house. Like, there's so much that's happened here. So, I look at that and I think to myself, at their very core, fighters are prize fighters. Mm. A lot of guys get into boxing and they didn't want to box. Yeah. But they were like, rah, like, I'm, I don't have options. I fight on the road, so let's see if I can make a yeah. thing out of this. That's... The mindset, and I guess in some cases, I don't want to speak for a whole bunch in a whole demographic of fighters, but yeah, there's that to it as well. So it's like, yo, I'm broke. I haven't managed my peas that great. Yeah, I can still throw these. Mm. This is all I know. I should be able to beat someone, and then they get back in the mix. And you know, co comebacks aren't new. Like yeah. people keep, I've seen people come out and say, oh, see, this is what I don't like about Mayweather set the blueprint. Now these men are going, no, that's not what happened, bro. Fair comebacks come have back. been happening, fam. George Foreman, but. What I think about this particular type of comeback with these guys is a pandemic trend that started. Yeah. By making it an event rather than a legit comeback. Because then men used to come back for real. Yeah. Whereas now it's like, yeah, come back and fight another guy and da 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 da. And it seemed cool. But then these things happen. And now you start thinking, nah, I got a bit of taste in my mouth now. Because when I watched Tyson and Roy Jones, even though it was quite apparent they were carrying each other and they weren't really trying to go for it, I still enjoyed it. I was like, right. Like, yeah, because them man know what they're doing. Them man know glimpses, it's, ring, it's ring craftsmanship. That's it's, right. It's the bits where they can do something that we might even, even the casuals and a lot of man, even even the train box and I might miss it a little bit. But I was like, ah, I could But you enjoy it, yeah. Yeah. Now. Now, if you start making this thing real, I saw Evander Holyfield on the pads and I said, this has to stop. Unless he's playing it. possum. Unless he's playing possum and he's like... I'm, I want to look really slow, but then when the fight starts, I'm going to turn it up on him. And I was just like, nah, fight started, same Bro. pace. 
Remember when we said about um, Evander Holyfield's uh, marketing team, the video, the video, oh, the man. videographer, because Ty, um, Tyson did a video and the video was great. Tyson we, looked sharp. Tyson sold us a it dream. Was, it was sped the up. Ray, no, sped up. Yeah, yeah, But, yeah. you know, he, he had Tyson yeah, doing yeah, 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 Tyson yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, and we saw the videos like, oh, Ray Jones, this is going to be a bad night for him. So they did what they, we the, hated it. The first day it came out, we hated it. We the, hated it. Then he released the same video, but sped up. <laughs> So he took that video to the IT department and said, yo, you make this Mike, like Mike Tyson's. So then we got the video with the update and we was like, oh, this, I guess it's kind of like what he used to be like. It's kind of like that. I guess no, I, we didn't say I, that. Yeah. We <laughs> no, said if you watch that for the first time, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, I guess I could watch the rematch. And no, I remember how we gave up. We came here yeah, and we, we were like. We got him the hell out of here. <laughs> you can't take it to the IT department, bro. Record a new video and speed up with your hands, it's bro. It's bad. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy as well. It's so but it's sad though. It's sad because all right, here's a, here's a here's a fact for you. Remember Danny Williams? Yeah. Danny Williams, yeah, fought Mike Tyson. From Brixton. Big right? Danny yeah, big Danny Williams. You know, when when do you think his last fight was? Don't tell me my boy, my guy's still lacing. I don't when, when do you think his last I'm fight was? I'm gonna say his last fight was let me try and be respectful, two thousand and two. September. 11th, 2020. Hey! Yay! The man is still Funka? going. Wait, hold on, wait, come come back. He's still going. Where though? Bro, this fight took place it's in just... Russia. Fuck. His fight before that was in Germany. Mm. The one before that, it looks like Austria. He's really on the journey, thing, isn't it? He's Bam. literally, literally but... all the journey destinations. He, I mean, that one he lost, but he won the one before that. One before that, he lost by KO, lost by KO. He was on a, yeah, he's a, a, journey a team. five strong rock a five fight win streak. Another TKO. Festival but there's sense. a lot of KOs and there's a lot of things going on here. Like he's 48 years That's old. That's made me sad, man. He's 48. That's he, not good. But this is an example of what the sad when undertone was that, is. When was that good? Like when we say Danny in his in his like when oh, we we're going when back, those fam. names. If you just do the box record, just when we when we thought he should have retired. Okay, so let's look when he fought Tyson. He fought Tyson in two thousand and four. Yeah, there you go. And he knocked so, him out. Then he went on to to lose to Klitschko. It's he, after that Klitschko one. So when beat, was that Klitschko he beat, one? He beat Audley Harrison. Beat Matt Skelton. He lost to Matt, Matt Skelton. Then he lost to Audley Harrison. And then from there, it's like a really just so like, okay, so now Audley, it's getting... When was the Audley fight then? Cause that's the last when... Audley fight was 2006. 2006. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. But so then after that, he just continued he bouncing just, around different it's countries. Mad. That makes me sad. And I remember seeing an article and I, I don't want... I, it's I not like, laughing at these fights. No, I'm not way. laughing at all. I'm highlighting something that, that's really bothering me about seeing Holyfield like that. Like, there's a harsh reality. And I think, um, I think Craig Scott wrote this article on Danny Williams. And I think he's fighting to pay tuition fees. What? For his daughter, if I remember correctly, I, I hopefully somebody can get the link for me and put it in the thing just to, That's you know, whatever. Mad. But yeah. So now you start looking at it a bit differently when you see these thriller cards and these men are like so keen to get out of there and scrap. And you start saying, this world hasn't been kind to the ones that want to fight. And then you start looking at someone like Lennox, who, yeah, he might have taken the Tyson fight, but you know, that would have been, you know, a bit of a different circumstance other than getting in there with a, a Vita Bell for who's really trying to get it cracking. That would have been a nice little move around. And I'm looking, I'm thinking to myself, Lennox don't need this though. So I'm trying not many. There's certain men that don't need it, and you can kind of tell. So when does it become like a way for the company that's doing that to the to the fighters? When does it become like you're almost it's not the word's not manipulation, I can't find the word, but you're you're taking advantage. I think it's taking. What's that? Exploiting. Exploit. When does it become like exploit? Well, when, when is boxing not exploiting? If we're if we're doing that, because you got to tell me when these guys are getting their fair shake. Do you know what I'm so that's why I say the game is not too kind. So, which is why we're seeing things like this play so out. So you're saying we should just firm these thriller fights? Not saying we firm it, but like, so I was chatting to my dad about it, yeah, and my dad sent me the maddest message, right? I said it on Monday Night Smoke as well. He messaged me because I wasn't watching the fight. Yeah. He messaged me, you watching it? I don't really watch it. I said, nah, I'm not going to try and get connected to this thing and pay for it and all that kind of stuff. I was like, I'll watch it tomorrow. And then he messaged me about half an hour later. He said, Fournier beat Hey, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And fam, I just laid still and I thought, oh, for flip's sake, man. You're going to make my Monday night smoke hell, David Hay, bro. <laughs> like, 
I can't have this. I started looking into it, looking at the highlight. And I was like, David Hay boxed to a unanimous decision. I was like, what? Why would you lie? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But then, but then my dad goes to me afterwards. He goes, oh, he goes, I got a confession. Next day, he goes, I paid for it. I said, right, dad. Because me and my dad and my family were massive David Your Hay dad fans. paid for it. Yeah, so I, go, so I said, dad, David Hay got you again. He goes, no. He goes, I'm just trying to drop some money to the old boys. Oh. You understand? And I, and I get, and that's where that's coming from. Because we know that these guys, they don't get looked after. And a lot of them are not advised. So we look at Evander and say, oh, he had all that money. But it's like, yeah, but with the bad guidance and crooks surrounding you and all the other things that come along with being a rich athlete yeah. from, a, you know, the, the demographics of like the rough areas and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's a recipe for a, a absolute loss. Yeah. So you start looking at these things and it's like, yo, this is bigger than this moment there. Yeah. That's a 58 year old legend that everybody respects. And people are saying to him, you shouldn't be in there, bro. You're a legend to us. And he's thinking, well, in my bank balance right now yeah. is not legendary money. Uh, it's just even it's sad. It's, it's sad, man. And I like I was saying the other day because Don Don King still got current fighters right now. Yeah, I know. Don King is like literally saying. still trying to do deals with Frank Warren. I know. Like it's insane, and you think to yourself, that shouldn't happen considering everyone's told you how this man's moved in the game. But it's an exploitative game. It's do you tough, know what I mean? Man. And it's, it's like uh, this is. Let me sp let me speak from another side because I get there's this there's the important side, there's the health side, and there's the thing for the fighters. Yeah, I want to talk about it from a pundit perspective. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm a pundit, and as you said. It leaves a... I feel like the quality's gone down. So we saw the Tyson one, French Montana, all these guys. Remember, we saw like a lot of people come out. It, it looked amazing. We saw Axe, Snoop, and it was like... That was like just the full package. And he said to yourself... The production quality of the it The production was, was yeah, yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. He said, if this is what we're going to get... I'm here for it. I'm here. Now, as it's gone on... It's gotten cheaper, isn't it? I'm not seeing the acts. Um, it's, it feels like um, no disrespect to the um, what's that? What's that thing that we have? A, we have a show over here, it, like Mobos. It's feeling kind of Moboish right now, where it's like That's, I enjoyed the Mobos in Mobos. That is Mobos, crazy. Mobos in the beginning, you wouldn't miss that. You know what's crazy? I, I remember who missed Mobos. I remember the Mobos where I was watching it casually on my phone. Yeah, and you and Marston popped up. Do you know how gassed I was to be there? Fam, I jumped off. I said, run it, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> Remember the video I said? Listen, I was so hyped. Travis, if I see you at the mobiles, <laughs> I'll be happy because you're my friend. Right, that's all right. <laughs> 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 I'll be happy because you're my guy. Do you know what I mean? I but it's not the same. So I'm saying that how what they set, what they sh what they um showed us and what we're getting, the package now, is not in I'm talking not even just from an entertainment perspective. We're not even, Snoop's not there. I got 50 cent on commentary. 50's being 50, uh, you know. <laughs> Mad chill. It's not really. Mad chill. Sean Porter's getting heavy Sean with Sean Porter's though. trying to do the most. He's doing a lot Sean there. Sean Porter's like, you know, I look like, you, Sean Porter's doing the most, but he's he's trying to work with his, yeah, 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 yeah. his co-commentator. Yeah, they weren't throwing the ball back Nah. It was weird. And this whole Donald Trump involvement as well. I was like, this is, why is that happening? Why is this? What's all that? I don't get it. I don't know. There's just something about this one that just felt uncomfortable. And I think it's because Evander got hurt, bro. Not just that. I'm saying that how the quality goes down. And then what happens to us is, and I'm talking about, you. someone said something earlier. I don't know who it was that we spoke to about the fakeness and numbers. That's it. Bruce Kai. Yeah. He spoke about things. The game's always been fake. Yeah. And the one thing that I've enjoyed about boxing, and remember when we had that guy, the fight fixer came on, it kind of, I was affected by that for a few weeks when I watched his <laughs> thing, just him talking about it. But yeah. boxing felt like the equalizing space where, yes, where it doesn't matter like who mano you are. Mano y mano. It don't matter. You're still, we come into the ring and it, it goes down. Now when I'm looking at boxing, we, bro, Jake, we got Jake, Jake in the Logan fight, yeah? I'm not talking about paying. I'm talking about, He's knocked out. He's hurt. Save him. Keep him on his shoulder. And that one was Mayweather. Great. You know, he looked after him. Got it done. It's when... Sorry, that's Logan. When Jake almost falls through the ropes. The yeah. ropes are bigger than him. I know. Uh, already. Woodley, Woodley don't understand. Stops. Woodley just stops. No, it wasn't bigger than him. He just fell down at this angle. So his head went through it. 
It was all over the shop. And then Woodley just stops as if nothing happened and just lets him recover. So, and then, but but we're telling ourselves this is, because remember, everyone's... But there's primed. a lot of boxing that's like that, though. It's ain't a I new know, problem. I know, I know. But I'm just saying that how... it. What's sad is, I get boxing can be like that, but you've got killers. Now knowing that these guys, it's just, there's nothing. It's It's fake. The whole thing is fake. It's like being that kid that realizes that you finally, when you wake up, you're like, well, WWE ain't real. You know, in that moment, and it's like, and you can't enjoy it the same way. And no, I'm you... saying, I'm saying that's how I'm talking from my perspective as a as a person that I like boxing. I want to see something, and all it all I, right now I see glamour with no rule. It's hollow. It's mm. glamour hollow. Just like Instagram. Just like w we know what's going on social media. You're posting. You're not happy, bro. Yeah, but at the and same I time, and I hate that it's turned. It's turned up in the thing that at, I love. At the same time, like Charles Farrell said, or yeah. Farrell, sorry, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. The majority of fights are real. And so I know. So whilst these little things are happening. There's a lot of great boxing, so it's like I don't, I don't let this these conversations kind of like, oh, this is clouding my great sport. Boxing is its own worst enemy because the big fights don't get made. That's it. Exactly. Wait, wait. That's it. You see that point that you said? Crawford, Errol Spence. All there these you big go. fights just keep happening. I don't even care what Jake Paul's doing. There or, you go. Or I don't see it as the same. It's not competitive. It's like NBA and street ball. It's just another version of this. Sport. Very good. However, do you know what's happening at the moment? Those fights are the ones that are supposed to be keeping us ticking over because you said the majority of fights are real where there's no majority fights happening. We're not even, we can't even see, well, we can't even see that the, the, um, our homegrown fights, domestic fights, really. We, 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 just imagine the other day we were talking about, um, if all the men then fought each other, we're talking about Boatsy Yard, we're talking about, like, literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about that group, yeah. They're not fighting. Then you go, you go to America. You talk about Crawford and um, Crawford and Errol, uh, Spence. Errol Spence. They're not fighting. You go to um, the heavyweights. That's what They're I'm not saying. fighting. So what are we waiting? All we got now is the YouTubers that are giving us fake. Yeah, I hear you, but that's that's what I'm saying. Like the only boxing is its own worst enemy. It's not to really anything to do with the YouTubers and what's happening over there. Our stuff is separate to them, even if it seems like it's the same or it's competitive or Jake Paul is going to do this to the... Yeah, them men are not affecting boxing. They're fighting. They're actually getting in the rings. That's what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm saying boxing is its own worst enemy. They don't have an external enemy. Boxing is its own problem because those fights that you're talking about don't get made. This is it. But I'm saying that it's starting to... Just because I knew that I was using... But... Not saying I'm but, using it to tick over. But when they do get made, yeah. the excitement is... Back straight to the top as if nothing happened again. No, I'm not saying I'm not in love with it. I'm saying that this was going to be like, it was like the snack before like the main, like what I'm supposed to be getting. Yeah. And what right now is there's no meal, there's no main meal, you know, and the, and the main meal's coming sporadically. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I've got in, I ain't right now, because I was looking forward to October, when you go September, October, like the end of the year, yeah, I was, was looking was forward to like what I was going to be. I was going to be like eating like a king, really. Yeah. I now know, a part of me now knows, I'm saying to myself, well, I better enjoy that Usyk AJ fight. I better make the most out of that evening because I don't know. Do you not think the Fury and Wilder fight is going to happen? Nope. I don't think that's gonna happen. Do you know what I mean? I don't think that's gonna happen. I, I haven't I haven't heard enough. It's it's there's enough needle, bro. The the egg weight form. Mm. There's enough, there's 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 enough to push this fight. You you've cancelled it so many times. There's enough to really say there's a fight coming. These are the one of the probably the loud mouths in boxing. And they're not talking. Mm. For this long. But one you. one swimming. While they're spoiling it again as far as their promo run is concerned. Because remember, they were upset with how he stayed quiet at the press conference. Yeah. Stuff. He's going to do it again. He's going to come in. He's going to be silent again. He's going to piss them off. That's exactly his strategy. Because I always thought Fury would crumble if he couldn't get to you mentally at a yeah. press conference. So seeing it play out as it, as it did, I'm like, right, I didn't know it have this effect on Fury. Yeah. To the point where he's now almost going into overdrive. Yeah. To try to make something happen. And I think what's happening here is that Fury's, it's come, I feel, I feel like the hammer's dropping for him. He's starting to realize, I'm not a star. Mm -hmm. I'm not AJ. AJ's tickets go like that. These men are having to do big old jumping jacks at a press conference and yeah. run up and down and cuss him and your mum's this, your dossa, all of this just to not sell out the stadium yet. Yeah, but wait, then this is... So I think, is... I think what's happening in this lead up, like Tyson Fury is going through a funny place because it's like you could have mistakenly thought that him and AJ were levels. 
They're never, they're nowhere near Oh, they're not levels. They're not levels. But where it now, this is, and when I say all roads lead back to hay, yeah, it's a drip feed because you have to understand in this moment, I saw a little article that came out and it was talking about how their careers, how the mirroring and how they've always been close to each other. And it's always been something that in public interest, you know, it, it's almost they rebranded hay as in, this is a rivalry that we should be invested in. And I'm telling you, this is, I, I swear to you, it's done like that. It's just, hey, go, have that Let piece. Me. Then another one comes out. Then before you know it, oh, we need to see it. Let me tell you one thing that's going to happen. Go ahead. If Hay gets that Fury fight, Dillian White is going to lose his mind. <laughs> he's going to... He's going to vomit the minute he sees that fight poster oh, generated. vomiting. But you know why it's going to burn? Remember when Tony Billy had just beaten David Hay? Yeah. As David Hay was walking out the ring, he called out Dillian White. Um, sorry, Dillian White called out David Hay. Yeah. He said he wanted to fight. I remember David Hay in an interview saying, like, what was all that about? Like, yeah. I've just been beaten up. Like, why are you? Yeah. So for him to go from that it's a name. to get my title shot. Oh, Dillian White might even try and to rush David Hay in the, in the haymaker Because what Fury recognises, as you were saying, if I now, if we play this game properly, we've always argued, look at the look at the names, though, on his on his record. Look at the names on his roster. <laughs> yeah. They don't seem like... David Hay on your roster I today. I know, I today. know. But it's still, as as you talk about David Hay, it's like, because if I'm, if I'm part of their marketing team, yeah. I can tell you, what a win. If I have that name... Just on my oh, as a yeah, lineal, of course, of course. I can now make that look he's a two -way, more. He's a two weight world champion. I'd be a two weight world champion. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? The yeah. same way we're trying to really roll out AB for Conor Ben. It's a great name. AB ain't in this thing no he's more. A three time world champion. Man. Free, I beat the three time. What you call? I'm talking he about might, a, a cruiserweight king. Stepped up, mashed up value with, and we got history. There's videos. There's there's he's a lot beating, saying that he's beaten a giant before. Could this be the man? To so dethrone the are you telling game. me that you can't sell that? Every network. What are you talking about? You saw, you, you saw me on Monday Night Smoke. I was already selling it. There you go. <laughs> so every network is saying, and this is easy to make. And the pun the punters are coming back for that. Of course they will. I'll be there. Is if it, if if Hay and Fury, and, and even happens, though I know what happened with Belly. But what happens if he does the unthinkable? <laughs> and that's what they'll do to us. <laughs> he catches Fury with that's, a beautiful haymaker. And that's what they do to and us. And sleeps him. That's what they do to us. Oh, if that happened, I swear that would... And that's what... And now, the fight sold. The excitement would be insane. The fight sold. Oh. We don't get what we want. My family best not expect it. Babes, listen. <laughs> Poor little man to sleep. I'm going out to celebrate. <laughs> but again, you've seen that. So... I hate just, you. And it's, now... It's so easily it's done. It's easier... It's so easily done. It's easier to do... Look at these guys. Look at these guys, bro. <laughs> man just messed up the whole ass... <laughs> Man, lean back his head, bro. <laughs> and he's got that Ghanaian head, bro. Just flat, just all the lights came on. That's hilarious. <laughs> but it's so it's so easily done to promote that fight. And Hayes as well. Come on, Hayes. Hayes with nobody. Hayes with nobody. So he's not got Hayes any commitments. Is, Hayes is his own promoter right now. He ain't That's, got no commitments. Maybe this was the master plan when he dropped Derek Chisora. I feel I wanted to go back to Chisora because Chisora must be looking at things thinking, wait, how have you got this <laughs> How? How does Chisora and Joe Joyce are sitting there thinking, so you're my promoter, but now you're fighting Tyson Fury? For the, for everything. <laughs> for the lineal. If and I heard Hay, David Hay say, well, he's the lineal champion. Never heard him say that before. If David Hay pulls this off, I swear down. Bro, oh there's my. conversations happening because I think everyone knows. The, 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 the unicorn thing that you're talking about that you said is, is happened before in boxing. Yeah. That's not easy to do. It's a very difficult conversation. Image rights. And image rights, yeah, we just, ah, just do it. That's image rights is a big deal. It's yeah. True. A lot of things don't get done. For image rights. So so what, so let's look at the, the, the maths here. All right, Lenny Talk Uri, to me. Let's, let, let's try and make the maths math. Yeah. At one point in boxing. Talk to me. On the boxing, the British boxing timeline. David Hay was the AJ. Yes. He was the name. Yes, he is. So if you can't get AJ, <laughs> you get the, <laughs> the, you, get the old, thing. you get the old AJ. You get the old AJ. Oh, man. It it's... makes, bro, it makes, it makes sense. It, it weirdly makes, makes sense. It, no, it makes. I'm. I'm oh, telling you. Hate that it he makes doesn't sense. sit down. We should have all been worried. He doesn't sit down, and sometimes you throw that thing out there. You see, 
oh, let me see what the bait is. Let me see if they bite. Because he Go called on. out AJ at one point. Before yeah. the belly fight. Yeah. He called out AJ and he was talking like, I'll knock him out. Yeah. I'm the one that's going to be... Like, he was really yeah, committed. Yeah, yeah. I saw him at the thing. Remember? Yeah. He said, I, I've, seen, things. I've the, seen things that he's... The headband and the afro. Yeah, yeah. I've seen things that he's, he's not... He doesn't know. I've, I've worked out. I've, I've broken that's the code. Saying. I've done... You know what I mean? Yeah. I figured he's, him out. I figured him out. So when Bellew called him out, he thought, oh, that's, easy. that's much easier work. I'll mash, his, I'll mash that work and then get AJ straight Cl after. Close to Eddie. That's yeah, Eddie's friend. It's close to Eddie. That's Eddie's friend. I go. gotta get the next one. So now he's come back. Yeah, and that's why when people say like, ah, oh, he wouldn't call out AJ though. I'm like, no, this was fully the train he was it, on before. No, he so had now, a plan to take down Matt Shroom. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he. Oh, yeah, he did. He, smoke with he did. Uh, yeah, but he did. But now it's long. But I'm thinking now he's sitting there, and I'm thinking maybe that's why he distanced from Trezora. I reckon Trezora saw David Hay started to do pad work and started training in the gym and thought to herself like, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you like? How are you trying to give this up right now? Like, yeah. I don't know, bruv. Don't Bro, know. on our speculation back, all I'm saying is, all I they, is they play games. They play in this industry. A lot of games are played and everyone is doing their part. That's the one thing. If I learned anything from Charles, everyone is doing their part. Don't, when you see a little article that says, bah, there you go. Yeah. There's a reason for you to see that. And it's just like, with the appetite, see what people are saying. Is every, is, the main thing is, are people furious? Yeah. Oh, they're not furious. Okay. Yeah. I've what tested else? the water here. What else? Okay, wait. Oh, is is there some interest? Because as yeah. you said, he could knock him out. If eight if if Hay wins, bro. Th that's enough. All I'm saying is I'm this. Said, I can sell that fight. When when that fight happens <laughs> and I hear this, as he walks to the ring, I'ma have my Haymaker t-shirt on and I'ma be ready to I'ma be ready to cheer on David Hay. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And it's a fight Fury would love. He's not in danger. He's not in danger. And he goes out because that's a name. I, I know we don't like it. It's a fight that Fury loves. <laughs> and if and if Hay does the unthinkable, Travis, where does his name go in history? Travis, he couldn't be for you. Where does his name go in history? He's, he's ruined. He's no, again, but let's, let's just take, could this be the let's man? Just, let's just take a minute to imagine this moment here. He knocks out Tyson Fury, yeah? He didn't knock out. No, Eddie. let's just check it out. <laughs> let's just say he knocks out Tyson Fury. Where does his name go in, in the rankings? <laughs> Travis Wood. Do you have him that if he if he did something this like that? This would be incredible. This would be this would be an incredible fate that he can't do. <laughs> Bro, you see he's got the spinal support on, on the shorts. <laughs> what, you, what are you talking if about? If he pulls this off, lucky shot, bang, outs his lights, Fury is finished on the mat, not getting I out. was again when I was watching the fight, yeah, said, I was watching Fournier. Hey versus AJ. It just keeps getting sillier. <laughs> and all these fights are easy to make. Again, no one is attached to... You oh, always man. have to understand that. There's big... Bi boxing's a business. And there's big, there's, there's big business discussions happening. And we all have to agree. You know, when we come back... We, you see... Kindred. You see in the country. We, 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 you know them little parts when you... Everyone, <laughs> you know how we come through that contract. You see when point... <laughs> Point C, point one something. What do you think that means? <laughs> so when they're doing that and then we're getting back and forth, and it's like, yo, um, that point here, <laughs> I don't like it. I'll tell them I'm straight. You need to highlight the changes you make. Don't tell me just read it again because if I miss it, I'm gonna go mad. <laughs> well, it's all I'm saying is mm. when all that's happening and there's a timeline and there's frustrate punters are as you said, Fury is is losing fans. He is. He's losing a fan base because they can see what's going on. They can say, wait, I see I see AJ fighting Usyk. Yeah? Your guy's swimming, bro. And he ain't even swimming like with he ain't even the the stroke is not like his confidence so, we want it to look. A good swim still. Do you know what I mean? It's not we're not getting to the camera. So now and he's not talking. So now I need to see you in the ring with a guy. Hey. Ooh. Ah. Oh, I I wanna watch you. I don't want to watch it. Of course I don't, but I'm saying I want. I'm intrigued. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. I and, hear you. and that's because the boxing, the, and co that's because the boxing man them. We're just we're hungry. We're suffering just a little, small, small. I know you don't want to say it, but that's how I feel from my perspective. Well, I feel like in, in I'm being starved. I'm fasting in boxing right now. In more news that you'd be happy to hear, 
Frank Warren has said that Arthur, Arthur and Yard is, is off present, it, presently. Go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I can't even get Arthur and Yard. Arbitration. You can't even get I can't even get Arthur but, and Yard. But, but guess who's in the middle of all of these moments? Frank Warren. <laughs> Bob Arum. These guys. Your favourite guys. Uh, AJ said something very interesting in the interview. What did he say? Yeah. They were talking about his the zone situation. Sky is like obviously Sky's ending now. You know what's what's your broadcast are gonna be, and he's you know he's very coy on the subject. Yeah, look, man, I don't know, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I mm -hmm. might even stream the fight from my own website. And as soon as he said that, ding, light bulb went in my head. I was like, wouldn't that piss off everyone if he just created possible. his own website and was just like all my fight revenue it's is possible. mine? It's possible. That would be the maddest. I don't know. I don't know legit how that would work. Oh no, because I've seen it now. Um, you get the future. Well, I've seen a lot of people well, have left YouTube. For he's, instance, he just started his own fight TV. Yeah, a lot of people have left YouTube and they've started their own. Like you know, people that do the reaction videos because yeah. the fair usage and stuff like that. People started their own literal like um, websites. Oh, is it? And they, yeah, because you know they can do what they want. You know, so now AJ saying to himself, well. I can do what I can do what I want in this way. I'm AJ. Someone in the world what can is. figure out how I can p make people pay for my shit. Coming direct to me. As soon as you said that, yeah, there's a, I thought to myself, you don't just say something like that. Of course you don't. You n no one just says something like that. That's like that's a loaded thing to to say. Of course you don't. You ever have someone just jokingly say something that you fully know they mean and you yeah. laugh about it, but you yeah. register that banked. There That's you where you're at in your mind. Okay, cool. Banked. I'm watching you, but it's fine. We still laugh. Never forget. <laughs> never forget, yeah. Mayweather came to the UK and he sat down with AJ. Just to cheer for AJ in Just that fight. Just to cheer for AJ. In the Pula fight. Never, and all I'm saying is never forget these conversations happen because I know Mayweather with all the money he made in the world and he's done well to create Mayweather. Like that that promotion company, is, he's mm. done well. Usually you don't. Golden Boy is the name that rings off. Mayweather's done well. Now, AJ258, we know that name, mm. yeah? Other people kind of done it, but Mayweather's definitely probably said to him, I made a lot of money, but I could have made more. How? <laughs> you know what I mean? If Just, I was a heavyweight. You if know. I was a heavyweight, <laughs> yeah. How? Da -da 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 -da. He starts yeah. talking and he goes, if I have the, if I, because they coming for me, yeah? See, if, what if I had the channel? How does that look? Could you imagine if AJ started his own broadcast? His own broadcaster. Why not? You see this game here? It's crazy. We've seen, and you have to respect the internet. We saw the zone rub out HBO. We saw Showtime. Well, like, no, HBO, HBO fizzled out on their yeah, own. Yeah, but they said, they said, yo, a lot's happening here. How do we keep up? No, they, they fizzled out. I know. On their own. No, but even the way they, I'm saying that. You, they do forecasting, right? It's not like we'll forecast and say, hmm, it's not happening. Yeah? Mm. Showtime, all these guys, there's a reason why they don't like Eddie Hearn. Do you know what I'm saying? Because he's, he's coming, he's taking again, what they, what, what's the tagline for the zone? It's unlike, oh, uh, they're different. Game changed. Game changed. <laughs> yeah. What's a slogan? Yeah. For all that man that was running it before. They were comfortable with the game. <laughs> they like the game. They said, oh. no, nah, I like it when the game is like this still. <laughs> and that's it, not changed. And in the technology era, yeah. the game changes faster than you imagine. That's right. So when when AJ comes up and says, hmm, <laughs> just throws out there, what if I had the oh, team? When fighters start doing stuff like that, oh, we, we're we stepping into an era where things get very, very tech techy and dangerous. It gets nuts. And you know what? I'm here for it. Well, if Evander was doing that, I imagine maybe he wouldn't be fighting at 58 years old. And... Yeah, and I think we've reached a wonderful place to end the pod guys thanks again for tuning in we appreciate it we love the support please hit like leave a comment send the video to Michael hopefully checks it out tell us what Michael says if everyone could send a video to their friend called Michael yeah. and, and get what Michael says about the pod that would be the most <laughs> hilarious thing ever in the comment section but yeah big up yourselves bro shout out to Michael stay blessed <laughs> Let's do another Come on, man. Man. Let's Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.